It's time to start bringing our layout to life with structures and later scenery. These are some of the basic tools you will need to work like a pro. We'll be using Walther's kits to build our structures. Practically everything you need is right inside the box, but there are still a few steps to follow to make sure the assembly comes together easily. Okay, the main customer of the Madison Central is the Glacier Gravel Company, so we'll start here. Later on, we'll create a hilly, rocky landscape covered with trees for realism. The business district of the town will be made of Merchant's Row kits, one through three. Four other kits will complete our downtown area. These include the Clarksville Depot, Bill's Glass Shop, Don's Shoe Store, and of course, Adam's Ribs Restaurant, where the town gathers for lunch or dinner at the end of a long day. First things first, let's start laying out the parts for the gravel company structure. It's a good idea to check the parts against the list provided to make sure they are all there before you start. Another helpful tip is to mark the part numbers directly on the parts before you remove them from the sprue. Just make sure you number them on the inside of the part so we don't have numbers on the outside of our building. The first step is de-sprueing. Most of the component parts come attached to plastic frames and need to be separated. Cut off the pieces with your sprue nippers. Now that the parts have been separated from the plastic framework, the rough edges and flashing need to be removed. We'll do this using a file. This works really well for the long, straight edges of buildings. Like most of us, you probably want to jump ahead and glue the pieces together. But first, we want to test fit all the component pieces. Remember, a successful layout is in the details, and test fitting will prevent frustration when gluing. Before we begin gluing, here's a great way to work like a seasoned model railroader. It's as simple as cutting a piece of 2x4, boring holes large enough for your glue bottle and brushes, and cutting a notch for laying down a wet brush. No chance of spilling glue all over with this handy little holder. Okay, we've successfully desprued, filed, and test fitted. We're ready for our glue. No secrets here, just take your time and before you know it, the Glacier Gravel Company takes shape on your workbench. Just remember to follow the directions for each kit you assemble. You know, I almost forgot to talk about paint, so let's jump ahead. Here's a strategy you may want to consider before you glue your structure together. Think about the colors that the building might require. Gluing everything together first makes painting the trim very tedious. After all, you don't want to get that trim color on your main color coat. Instead, paint the trim color before you glue. The result is a finished building that looks like you hired a master painter. Model railroading is all about choices. For paint, the best choice is water-based acrylics. They're safer on you and the environment. Plus, they clean up easily with water, unlike solvent-based paints. A more advanced technique you may want to consider is weathering. There are several ways to produce excellent results. Using chalk is a simple way to get that weathered look. Pick an appropriate earth tone and lightly apply the chalk with a dry brush. A weathered look can also be created through dry brushing. Take a dry brush and dab it sparingly into your paint. Next, wipe almost all the paint off your brush on a dry paper towel or rag. Feather the brush against higher, more pronounced points on your structure to create just a hint of color detail. Whatever method you choose, taking the time to detail your structures will blend them right into the scenery, like they're part of the real world. 